Hi, this is Mr. Knowles, and this is a video about a game that we're going to be playing in class called Dozens of Eggs. You can also play it at home if you have the materials, which are pretty easy to get. So let's get started with the instructions. Things you'll need are fraction cards. Uh, this game comes with a set of fraction cards. I can give those to the students. Or they'll definitely be available in class, but if they want to play at home, they just have to ask for a set, and I can get them a set of those. There's a worksheet that goes with it, and that's important to me as the teacher because uh, they'll put their work on the worksheet, and that looks like the worksheet looks something like this. They'll need an egg carton. They'll need 12 tiles, marbles, cubes, something to put inside the egg carton. And again, if you're not sure what an egg carton is, here's a typical egg carton. It has to be one that holds 12 things. I know there's some different sized ones, but 12. And then some tiles to put in them or something to put inside. So tiles or cubes or marbles, something. Students might need yarn, I'll explain that later, and colored pencils or crayons, and also a pencil. Let's get started. Place fraction cards face down, take turns drawing a card. The player with the larger fraction goes first. Uh, if you're not sure which one's larger, actually build your fractions on your egg cartons if you aren't if you can't tell which is larger. So you, what you could do if you're not comfortable with fractions is actually when you draw a card, a fraction card, you could, let's say you got half, you could fill this up until half of the egg carton was full. And then the other person could build theirs and then you could see which person goes first. All right. Two. Return the cards to the deck, then draw the next card from the top of the deck. Okay. So in my example here, this will be my cards, and I drew one fourth. Let's go see what the next step is. Three. Say the fraction out loud for your partner to hear and then use the string and tiles to build a model of the fraction in the egg carton. Alright. So I say this fraction out loud, one-fourth, so my partner can hear it. And then I'm going to build it in my egg carton. So one-fourth. This is where the string comes in handy. You're actually going to lay the string over the egg carton like I'm drawing here, so you get a visual. I don't think you need to do the outline like that, but I just do it for visual. So you can see one-fourth, or the egg carton divided into fourths, and then you're going to fill one-fourth of it. So I'm going to fill one-fourth of the egg carton. Like that. I have to remember where I'm at. We did that. Step four. If your partner agrees that you showed the fraction correctly in the egg carton, draw circles to represent the number of eggs in one of the diagrams on your record sheet and write the fraction beside the diagram. Okay. So on my worksheet, I'm going to draw this picture on my worksheet. So that's one fourth, and then I'm going to write one fourth over there. And I think there was some more to that. Yep. So now I am down. I'm going to start right here. 
After your partner agrees that you drew the correct number of eggs and wrote the correct fraction, return your cards to the deck and mix up the cards. Alright, so do that. Five, take turns with your partner until one person has filled in all four cartons on his or her record sheet. Every time you record a new group of eggs in a carton, use different color pencils or crayons. That's what it should say, huh? So you're going to continue to do this, taking turns. So let's say I draw another card, and I got two-thirds. So in my egg carton, I'm actually going to take this away. And you're going to kind of wonder, why are you taking it away? Aren't you supposed to build this? But it's practice doing thirds. So now I have to do thirds. Thirds would look like that. And now I have to take a step back and see what I drew. Two-thirds. So I did two-thirds. So now I've got to fill in two-thirds. Two-thirds. All right, there's one-third. And that would be two-thirds. So eight eggs would represent two-thirds of a whole egg carton. Okay. So now I get to choose, it said, where I put those. I could put them in the one I'm working on, or I could put two-thirds in any of the other ones. So I think I'm going to put two-thirds down here, which would be eight eggs. And I'm going to write two-thirds. Okay. All right. So we're on step six. Every time you take a new turn, you must put all of the eggs in a single carton. Sometimes this means you will put the eggs in a new carton without filling the carton before it. Towards the end of the game, You'll need to skip that turn if you can't fit the eggs into any of your cartons. So as you play the game, you might run into a problem where you won't be able to fill it. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So let's say I drew another card. And I got two twelfths. Well, that's pretty easy. So I would again two twelfths. Well, each section of the cartons in twelfths. If you needed a visual, you'd have to do this with the yarn. And then two twelfths would be two tiles. So I could put two twelfths in any of these. So let's put two twelfths here. And what you have to do is you have to put it in a different color. And I'd actually like you to write the numbers in different colors too, where they match. So you're labeling the numbers with the picture. To me, that's very important. So let's say I don't know what these are and these are my pile of fraction cards and let's say it's my turn again and I get one-fourth again so I'm gonna do this part I'm gonna make a fourth and one-fourth of the egg carton would be three eggs. Okay. I can't put um, those number of eggs in this second carton 
because I only have two spaces available left. So I can't put one fourth there. I can put one fourth in the other three. So I'm going to put one fourth in this one. A different color. So every turn's a different color. Every time you put eggs, you should have a different color in there. And your color should match your fraction numbers. So it's labeling them. I hope that makes sense to you. So let's put that back. And let's say uh, it's my turn again, and I draw two thirds again. So this egg carton, I'd have to fill it with two thirds, which would be I'd put my yarn down, and two thirds would look like this, which is eight tiles or eight eggs. Now I can't put two-thirds in my first one. I cannot put two-thirds in my second one. So I'd have to go down and put two-thirds in my in one of my other cartons because it won't fit in the other two because you have to get exactly one full egg carton. So let's go back to our directions. And that's what this is explaining t to you guys, hopefully. Seven. Each time you fill an egg carton, write plus signs between all the fractions next to that diagram and write equal one at the end of the row of the fractions. Okay. Well, Mr. Knowles has been doing that. Yep. Your goal is to get the egg carton full so that you have one whole egg carton and that's why it's equal to one so if I were to draw another card let's see if I can draw another card I draw two twelfths so I'm gonna build that so again twelfths I divide the egg carton into twelfths and two twelfths would be two tiles, which would represent two eggs in the carton. So I have two eggs to work with. And my second egg carton, I can actually put two eggs in there. And then I get one whole thing. So that's two twelfths. So over on the right, you're going to put a plus sign. And you're going to make sure that that color that you write, that fraction that you just drew, match. And all of those equal one whole. The number one should go there. And you continue to play the game until all four of your egg cartons are full. You can't go over one. So that's, that's going to take a while. That's the challenge. But I really think you guys can do it. I actually enjoy this game. It's an easy game to catch on to, and it's really a great game to understand fractions because you have a visual picture of it, and you're also doing the math on the right side of the picture. And I also especially like it because you're actually labeling, you're color coding the picture parts with the numbers, and to me that's very important in labeling things. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the game.